God, that's so freaking cold. I got from the thrift store, pants I got from the thrift store, shoes I got from the thrift store, jacket I got from the thrift store, belt from H&M, and my little necklace from my friend Bailey. I'm getting ready now to go to a cafe in Safford, Arizona. It was raining for the past two days, so it's really cloudy and everything's a little wet and it smells like rain, so it's pretty nice. While it's been raining, I've just felt like writing, and so I wrote about 5,000 words in Project Close in two days, and I'm just on a roll. So that's what we're gonna be working on today is Project Close. Let's go write. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See, even that crow was reminding you. For real now, let's go write. <laughs> Have fun, and uh, we'll see you in a little while. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think I'm gonna do a iced uh, candy cane mocha. And I'll do that in a 16 ounce with oat milk, please. And you said it was iced? Yes, yes. Did you want any of your uh, No, thank you. <laughs> Taylor?
Okay, well, it has been quite a day. I'm gonna have a Coke. It's so bubbly. Oh my God, I love it. So we are ending today with 1500 words written in Project Close. From this, I have learned that it is a very romantic idea to want to write in a cafe. For me personally, I could not concentrate and I think I wrote 300 words. Granted, we don't have internet where we are currently camping. So when I'm in town, it's nice to be able to research certain things. So there was a lot of background information I had to research. Project Close takes place in Chicago, which is where Trevor and I are from that area. And so every place that I mention is a real real life thing that people can go to or look up because I know what it's like to go to downtown Chicago. I know different like spots to go to. So it's really fun to be able to write about those things. But with that comes a lot of research, <laughs> especially about the things I don't know or haven't experienced. So I did a lot of that when I was at the cafe. Regardless, I just couldn't focus. So when we got home, I reread some of what I had written and then just got to writing and I ended up writing about a thousand words. I'm gonna do a chapter break right where I'm at. So this marks four chapters that I've written in the past three days, which is really good for me. Not gonna lie, I'm already on chapter 20. I'm just on a roll. You know, it's like one of those moments where everything is just lining up and you kind of see the story unfolding in front of you. That's what's happening right now. So I'm not fighting it. I need to write something. So I'm writing, but I really love Project Close. It's like, Ugh, it's like my favorite thing I'm writing right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope that you enjoyed today's video that it may have inspired you to go to a local cafe to just sit down be inspired Be surrounded by people drink a good coffee and just get to cracking on whatever project you may have in mind Maybe you haven't started your project yet and you're waiting for inspiration to hit you or just the right time in your life and if you have a story idea and you have been sitting on it for a long time, I'm here to tell you it's time to write it. When I have a project idea, I will make a playlist for it. I will make a Pinterest board for it. I even make a document with all of my ideas, character names, character descriptions, all of that before I start writing sometimes. There's a time and a place to dream up your manuscript and to think about what you want to write, but if you've been sitting on it for too long and you know it, I'm here to tell you it's time to start writing. We're all different. Literally every single person that writes is completely different. And what works for you is not gonna work for somebody else. What works for me may not work for you. But all I can say is that if you've been dreaming of being a writer, of being an author, sometimes you have to take the first step in order to make that dream a reality. I'm here to tell you just Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking you're not good enough and that you have imposter syndrome. I have that all the freaking time. But regardless of it, you're still a writer when you write, period. I really hope that this inspired you to take out your laptop, take out your journal, take out your typewriter if you're that type of writer. I just wanna thank you so much for your support and to remind you that the giveaway is still happening. For 500 subscribers, we just keep growing and it makes me so freaking happy. And please comment down below. I love to talk to you guys in the comment section. You can still enter the giveaway. You can do that right here in this comment section or on the video that I will post right here. Either way, when you enter, you will get the option to pick from the following books. You can either choose The Bear, which is by Andrew Krivak. Krivak? Krivak? I'm not sure. You can look all of these books up on Goodreads to pick which one you would like to win. You can either pick The Bear, The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. This is a Target Club pick. Check it out on Goodreads or Amazon to see the reviews and see if it's a book you'd be interested in. Now this gem, <laughs> Agatha Christie. Okay, this is the new Bedside Bathtub and Armchair Companion. So in this is kind of a, I don't know how you describe it. So in this, it has a publishing phenomenon, different articles about her, the timelines for when she published her books. There's crosswords in here. There's like, there is so much inside of this book. There's drawings, a lot of illustrations, different things. It's so fun. I personally love Agatha Christie, so I think this is a really, really sick book to choose. Last but not least, we have Sourdough by Robin Sloan, and this was a book of the month choice from September of 2017, so I know that's a little not recently. <laughs> I have no idea what this one's about, but again, 
look all of these up on Goodreads, see if it's something that you're interested in. Choose one of these books to win. And another cool part of this prize is you will get a signed edition of my book that I self-published, Venture Below. If you want to know more about this book, I will leave another video for you to check out. I read the back of the book, I explain a little bit what it's about, and it's a series. So I also talk about writing the second book in this series. But those are some of the things that you will win. There are some other little goodies that I'm going to be putting in the box for the giveaway winner that I will not be sharing with you. I want it to be a surprise and I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. If I were to win it, I think I would cry. I think I would cry just a little bit, if, especially if you're a writer. If you are a writer, please, please enter the giveaway. The giveaway ends on December 12th, which is like three days after this video goes live. So you don't have very much time to enter. And this is only gonna be for people that live in the US. So just know that when you enter. And I will have a pinned comment in the comment sections with everything that you need to do in order to enter. But with all that being said, from like the deepest part of my freaking heart, thank you. Seriously, I love making videos and to have 500 subscribers is a dream and something I, I don't know. I just, I love making videos and I love writing and I love reading and doing fun challenges and going to little libraries and thank you for taking the time to watch all of my videos. I appreciate it and wouldn't be here without you at all. So yeah, make sure to like this video, comment down below. I would love to chat with you and make sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and turn on those post notifications so you can see all future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Ooh.